Hello everyone, welcome back to Developers and Coders Club of NIT Gartala. Today we are going to discuss code forces around 870s problem statement B, which is lunatic never content. So in this question, we will be given with an array A of size n, which will contain non-negative integer elements, and we have to find a positive integer x uh, with which if we take modulo of all the elements of our array A, then it becomes palindrome. And uh, we have to find the largest value of x. And uh, if the value of x is infinitely very large, then we will output 0. So uh, let's see how we can solve this question. So uh, we have to see, uh, as we can see that uh, if we take the first example, then 1 and 2 are two elements of the given array. And we have to uh, take modulo of them and make them equal so if we take modulo of 1 with 1 then it will become 0 and if we take modulo of 2 with 1 it will also become 0 so 1 will be the possible solution but we have to find the maximum value uh, and in this uh, in this case if we divide it by 2 or any other number then we can't achieve palindrome Okay, in second test case, if we see, then uh, if we divide all the elements with 1, uh, everything will become 0 and our answer will be palindrome. But we have to find the largest number. As, uh, if, as you can see in the solution, it's 2. So if we take modulo of 2, it will become palindrome. But how we can achieve it? So let's see. So uh, this is the case if we consider the second test case which is uh, this one and if we uh, consider the first and last element so we have to make 3 equal to 1 after taking modulo so if we write it mathematically then it means that uh, if our number 3 is remainder of something then if it uh, let's suppose a is our number and we multiply it uh, with some x1 and when we add it and then this happens so basically this is the condition which is mathematically uh, uh, we just have written the mathematical form of r this thing so uh, i guess you understood what i want to say these two are remainders so if we add the remainder in the number uh, with which it came out so it will become equal so this only i have written so uh, uh, if we will solve this it will come out to be like this which is nothing but difference of those two numbers which need to be equalized so uh, what we see from here is that our number can be 2 or my, uh, any number which divides our this number so we have to maximize the number and let's suppose in the second case what happens like in this case it's 0 and 2 and the difference is 2 so our number is 2 but if uh, uh, somehow it comes out 9 7 something else so how will we find so uh, for this we will be taking gcd so we will uh, take uh, gcd of the number every time after taking difference like in this case uh, 2 came as difference for the first number then uh, on the second time when we will iterate then for these two numbers uh, the difference will be again 2 and the GCD of the previous number and this number will be 2 and again we will uh, see these two and the difference is 2 so GCD will be con uh, continue to be 2 and like this we will do with all the numbers and similarly we will do in all this and we will find GCT. let's see how uh, code looks like so here we have to uh, we took a bool which is palindrome uh, palin named and it's true from initial time and we will check if uh, our, our given array is palindrome or not if it is palindrome then we will directly print zero but if our um, array is not palindrome then what we will do is uh, we will uh, declare an integer gap uh, which will be containing the first and last elements difference 
and we will uh, consider it as the biggest number and then we will count GCD of all other numbers uh, and their corresponding number which we have to equalize after taking modulo and we will be continuously finding the GCD of our gap which we uh, found initially and all the gaps which will come out later on and the biggest number which we will achieve by this it will be our answer and we will directly print our answer I guess you understood what I wanted to say let's run the test case so it passed thank you for watching